Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Hello everyone. This week is crazy week seven. Crazy? Why? Why is it crazy? Do you remember? Well, this is a review week. A review week. They are really important. Hmm, but what is it? What is review? Well, we're going to cut the word into two parts. Re means again. And view means look. So review means, does it mean again look? No, not quite. It means look again. And that is what we are going to do. We are going to review what we have seen in our first six weeks. But we've got the most important question every time, every day. Every day you see your friends. This is what you say. I'm sure you remember now. Hello, how are you? I am fine. Hmm, what's next? What if you feel a little bit more than fine? I am good. Okay. The next one is the answer I always give. I am great. And there's one more. If you feel really great, what would you say? I am wonderful. Okay, I'm going to ask the question. You shout out your answer. Are you ready? Here we go. Hello, how are you? Thank you. So, let's try and think a long time ago. What did we look at first? Um, things in the classroom. So, a lot of these things we already know, don't we? What is it? A pen. Great. If you see the picture, Shout out the word. Mm, what's that? Of course. It's a chair. What's that? It's a desk. I think we've got one more. There we go. We know that. There's the book. And then we asked, why do we need them? Hmm, why? Why, why have we got a chair? Why have we got a pen? Hmm, well there's the boy sitting on the chair and he's thinking. Why do we need a chair? Hmm, well, we need a uh, to Hmm. We need a chair to sit on. There we go. That's great. Let's see if you can do the next one. Hmm. So let's see. We need a to. So what is it? Desk. And what do we need a desk for? Well, lots of things, I guess, but we're going to say, put a book on. 
Let's say the whole sentence. We need a desk to put a book on. Great. Oh, okay. Now we've got two things here. Um, let's think. Let's use the one at the bottom. What is it? Ruler. And what are we doing here with the ruler? Draw a line. Great. So, let's say the whole sentence. You listen and say it after me. We need a ruler to draw a line. Great, well done. So what came next? What did we talk about after things in the classroom? Oh, try and think, it's a long time ago. We talked about people, places, and things. Okay, so all of these, we call them nouns. Nouns. So there we've got a teacher, that's a noun. A school, that's a noun. And a box, that is a noun. This is very important. We always use an article before a noun. An article. An article is a and am. There's one more as well. The. The ones that we use most are a, an, a book, an orange, a car, an octopus. So we've got to put the article before the noun. Very small words are usually very important. That's a bit strange, isn't it? The small words are the most important words. What a very nice place to be. So let's use them. Let's use the articles and nouns. Okay. So here we've got two nouns. Swing playground. Can you say the sentence with the articles? Ready? A swing is in the playground. Great. What's next? Okay. Again, we've got two nouns. Teacher, chair. So we've got two articles. A, uh, the. Let's say the sentence. A teacher is on the chair. Super job. Let's have one more. Two nouns. Student. Slide. So we've got two articles. A, uh, the. Let's say the sentence. A student is on the slide. Well done. Very, very well done. So, what can we say? Hmm. Well, we've got three articles there. So that means we must have three nouns. What nouns can you see? Well, I can see a boy. I can see a bag, a t-shirt, 
a pen, an eraser. Hmm, which are we going to use? Hmm, so we've got boy, pen, eraser. Let's see if we can put those two together to make a great sentence. So, we need the three articles in those three spaces and we'll join them together. Ta da! So, it's a long sentence, but it tells us exactly what is in the picture. You listen and then you say it. The boy has a pen and an eraser. Super! Well done! So, where? Where is it? Where are the nouns? So, then we use prepositions of place. Whoa, that's a long word, isn't it? Prepositions of place. Well, that is just a very long word for saying where. Let's have a look at some of them. Okay. Where is the dog? Well, we could say in. What a very small word that we all know. In. That is a preposition. A preposition of place. Where is the dog now? What a good word. Let's say this one two or three times. You ready? Beneath. 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 Great. Now really, can you guess what that means? It just means under. It's another great word for under. So, here we go. The pictures are nearly the same, aren't they? The dog is under. The dog is beneath. Where is he now? Another good word. Let's say this one. Beside. Beside. So what do you think that means? It means next to. It's another great way of saying next to. Oh, now we've got two dog beds. So where is the dog this time? Between. Yeah, great. All prepositions of place. Hmm, so then we put the words we have learnt in the right order. If we get them mixed up even a little bit, it can be very confusing. So, we start out with what, where, and what. Hmm, what, where, what. That sounds a bit strange. Well, that's not a sentence, but it tells us how we can make a sentence. So, what? Kite. Where? In. And what? Sky. Okay. Is that a good sentence? Kite in sky. Hmm. Well, I can guess what it means, but it doesn't sound very good, does it? Don't forget articles. Ah, the, a, an, 
right. So, what can we say to make it a great sentence? The kite is in the sky. Super! So we've got article, what, where, article, what. Oh, that was confusing. The kite. So there we've got the article and the noun. Is in. So now we're going to find out where the kite is. The sky. Again, an article and a noun. The kite is in the sky. Super! Now it's your turn. Okay. We've got a mouse and a box. Let's look at the sentence. The box, mouse, in front of is the... Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Now that's not right, is it? We've got to put those words in the right order. Let's have a look. We know that we start with a capital letter. So our first word will be the. Then we need a noun. Hmm, we've got box and mouse. But hold on, box has got a full stop. So that goes at the end. So we're going to say the mouse. Now we want where. Where is the mouse? The mouse is, the mouse is in front of. Hmm. So now we've got a what and a where. The mouse is in front of. And now we want the other what. It's going to be the box. Wow. That was a bit difficult, but some good thinking. I'm going to say the sentence, and then you say it after me. Ready? The mouse is in front of the box. Thank you. Let's do another one. Okay, we've got cup, book. Cup on the the book is oh dear oh dear well we've got a capital letter we've got a full stop so we know those two words go at the start and at the end so we've got the can you see a noun cup the cup the cup is where on. The cup is on. What? The book. Oh, that one was okay. You listen and then you say it. The cup is on the book. Well done. This is fun. One more. Oh, okay. We got girl and umbrella, I think. Mm. Umbrella, girl, under, the, is, the. Okay, we've got a capital letter and a full stop. So they go at the beginning and the end. So we're going to start with the. And now we want a noun. Girl. The girl. The girl is. Now we need to know where. Under. The girl is under. Hmm. The girl is under what? The umbrella. The girl is under the umbrella. Very well done. Whew, good thinking. Then we started to look at animals. 
I love animals. First, we looked at animals in our home. Hmm, good question. Are they pets? Well, some are pets. Hmm, tortoise and hamster. They are both pets, aren't they? Some are not pets. Ooh, ooh, gecko and spider. Well, actually, I like both of these because both of these animals like to eat mosquitoes and mosquitoes are bad. So thank you, Mr. Gecko, and thank you, Mr. Spider. But they're not pets. Verbs. What are verbs? Do you remember? Verbs are action words. Run, jump, swim. Verbs have to be used in the correct tense. Now, that means if we are talking about something that happened a long time ago, the verb will be a little bit different. That's the past tense. Hmm, OK. Don't worry. Verb tense tells us when something happens. OK, so if we change the word just a little bit, we can guess if something happened in the past or is happening now. Or maybe it will happen in the future. But we have to change the verb just a little bit. So let's use some verbs. The in the wheel. Oh, oh, oh. Now, so we've got to ask what is it and what is it doing? The hamster spins in the wheel. Look at the articles. Look at the nouns. And in the middle, we've got a verb. The hamster spins in the wheel. Let's look at another one. Oh, what's the animal? Well, tortoise. Hmm, can we think of a verb? What is he doing? Is he walking, standing, sitting? Oh, let's see. Crawl. OK, good word. The tortoise crawls in the garden. Super. Another one. The, the door. Oh, OK, so we've got cat. So it must be the cat. But what verb? Hmm. Scratches. The cat scratches the door. Well done. Then we had some more animals. So, some are in your garden. Oh, what is that? A squirrel. We know that. That's just a bird. They are in every garden. A ladybug. Now, if you come from England, you would call that a ladybird. But it's the same animal. And a worm. Hmm. Some are not in your garden. Maybe they live in the in the forest. 
a bat. Oh dear, that's a scorpion. Sometimes these do like to come into your garden. Oh, be careful. We had some definitions. We said what the verb means. We had some great verbs. Can we say this? Slither. Hmm, what does that mean? Slither. Move when you have no legs. So what do you think would slither? Yes, a snake slithers. Sting. Hmm, do you know what sting means? The definition is use a pointy thing to really hurt you. Hmm, so what animal has got a pointy thing that would hurt you? Yeah, maybe a wasp or a bee. They've got a sting in their tail. Present continuous. Now that is a verb tense. So we use present continuous when these are actions that started before and will finish after. So here's now and these actions are before now and after now and that verb tense is called present continuous. So what is the bird doing? The bird is flying. Can you see, we change the verb from fly to fly ing. We add ing. It's time for you to think. Okay. The snake is, what is he doing? Slithering. Where? In a tree. So we've got a verb in the middle. We've got two articles and two nouns. Great! You say it. The snake is slithering in a tree. Oh, well we know what that is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Oh, I don't think this is good. The scorpions are. We've got two scorpions, so we say are. Now we need a verb. What are they doing? Stinging. Oh no! What are they stinging? A dog. Right, we've got a verb in the middle. We've got two articles and two nouns. Let's say this great sentence. The scorpions are stinging a dog. Thank you. Wow, some beautiful animals. We looked in the sea. Oh yes. We looked at a seal, we looked at a dolphin, we looked at a starfish, so beautiful, and an octopus. And we had some great new verbs, hmm, stick, the starfish sticks to the rock. Great verb. Oh, 
an octopus? What does he do? Squirts. The octopus squirts ink. Okay, we had one more important question. How? We want to know. We want to know how do animals do things? Hmm. How does the dolphin dive deep? Look at that word, does. Oh, now it's changed a little bit. How do dolphins dive deep? So if it's one, does. If it's two or three or five hundred, do. Now, we don't want silly answers. It is good to guess. Okay. It's good to guess, but no silly answers. How does the starfish stick to the rock? Hmm, uh, let's think. Oh, glue, really? It has some glue. I don't think that is a good answer. Try and think of one. Here we go. This is better. It has lots of tiny hands. Well, that could be a really great idea. We don't know. But what a super guess. Oh, well done. Yep, that's how I feel, really. That has made me really tired. Oh, well done. Oh, yes, you should feel very happy. That really was a great job. And some new things next week. Very well done today. Oh, here are our two friends we see every week. We know what they are here to say. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.